everyone. This is Jared Rand. Welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, September 10th, 2019. Staying in a ourselves in, in a positive frame and be challenging at times. It's almost as if you have to move yourself out of the energies, the, the, the actual things that are happening to master not becoming susceptible to an ongoing pessimistic cynicism, um, negative pattern that we can get ourselves involved with. And it's almost not noticeable because we're continually moving in different directions. You know, we're monitoring the mind and the ego. We're uh, staying in the area of as high frequencies we can in love, peace, and joy, and prosperity. And we have, you know, ongoing challenges for us to really concentrate on staying in the higher frequencies from the negativity that seems to be everywhere. And if you remove yourself from that, engage it, you'll find yourself freed from the tentacles of that frequency and energy because it's always trying to pull you down. It never stops. It's always trying to pull you down. And a lot of the times you are tricked into succumbing to it. And all it takes is one of your thoughts and words, which are vibrational frequencies, that you that you express to catapult you deeper and deeper into it, and it will continually. You'll manifest it on a continuous basis, so you'll always be in it. Sometimes it'll seem like it's light. Other times it'll seem like it's heavy. But it's being conscious about it. It's almost like you're. Standing outside of yourself, that you're, you know, you're monitoring the mind, so you know these things are there that are coming in. And but a lot of us are so preoccupied with so many different things. You know, we're in the future, we're in the past, we're in the future, we're in the past. You know, we're dipping into the future, we're dipping into the past, we're bringing things here and there, and it's a continual energy burn. That's why sometimes some of you will feel really drained. You don't know why. Now, it's like it, it's an incessant chatter. And when you become in control from the standpoint of being in power and not, you're going to end up being able to understand what it's all about. Why is this coming in? And it's the mind that creates this. Uh, it's it's never ending. So it's like out of control. So if you're in your heart mind, which you should be, you should understand that the mind that dictates when 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 most humans, the mind dictates to the heart mind, and the heart mind is the emotional center. So the heart mind is dictated to by the mind, and that's why we get these panic attacks associated with stress. Anxiety, pressure, fear, a lot of things come into play. And, but when we're monitoring it, and we really truly are from the heart mind, then you don't have anywhere near that issue that's constantly flooding you. And it, you get so used to it that it's just a, it's just a common process. It, you know, most humans are used to it, so they just look at it as uh, just as part of life. And 
it is part of life if you intend it to be that way and do nothing about it. And you have to take yourself out of it and literally catapult yourself in a much higher frame of existence and feeling and emotion. Because if you don't, then you're going to continually contend with these frequencies, with the negativity, the cynicism, pessimism. Uh, and that's that voice in the mind comes in and says, oh, yeah, right, okay, sure. And it never ends. It's, it's a constant. That's why we struggle so much in these lives. It's one of the facets of the struggles that we experience. Now, I'm not saying that we don't have struggles, but you can flow with any form of struggles instead of fight the struggle. So when we are in a position of the heart mind, viewing the mind and overseeing the mind and the ego, you're able to eliminate and vaporize the cynicism, pessimism, negativity. And if you catch yourself on your words and all the different vibrational frequencies which feed that cynicism, pessimism, and negativity. And you will continually manifest and attract the same thing over and over again. And it'll just expand and expand and expand. The mind will feed you, feed the heart mind more. Emotions will become more and more. You'll get more and more stressed out. And it, it is, that's the process. It's as it, it, it simply put as possible. So, again, to eliminate the negativities we generate, the pessimism, the cynicism, the negativity. Uh, you must elevate yourself into higher frequency. So, let's say you have a thought that says, "Well, uh, I, I'm, you know, this isn't going to work, or I'm going to lose this, or this isn't doable." Anything that you think ahead of time that something is not going to happen or work, you catch yourself, you say, if you're from the heart mind and monitoring your mind, you'll say to yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute. If, if I want this, I want this to be the way I am perceiving it and the way I'd like it to come out, then I'm going to send positive, no matter what, you're going to send positive frequencies, you're going to say, this is all going to work out. It's all going to be fine, and it's all going to be good. And you have to do it from the heart mind. You, you, it, it, it's not effective to the extent you need it to be uh, by just making the statement off the cuff. Okay? So you, you do it from the heart mind, and when you do it from the heart mind, it's very effective. You'll feel a wave come over you positive and uplifting. And you also feel that the, the, the very thing that you're uh, hence on, that you're negating, uh, disappears. And you let it go. You leave it alone. That's it. It's going to work. But a lot of us belabor the issue and we hang on to it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. And, talk about it. and it's the, it, the, what happens is it just feeds it. It feeds it. And it expands more. So when you are in those situations, which every single one of us go in one way, shape, form, or another at different times, we, we, we can literally transcend it. You can transfer the negative into the positive. So you combat it, and you turn, and you say, this is going to be fine, and I know it will. And I send it love. And that's it. And, you, and it dissipates. It disappears. It's over. And there's no problem. See, you, that's, that when I talk about being uh, aware and conscious, this is part of the, part of the areas that we need, we must be aware and conscious so that we can get into the habit, the good habits of the positive instead of the negative. Most, most humans will look at the negative immediately. And a lot of them are So when, when they are in a 
positive field of energy that they have manifested, each and every one of us, it, it, everything changes. And it's not for a short period of time because if you get into the habit of doing that, you're not going to have anywhere near the challenges uh, that are slammed into you by the mind and the ego. So, if you will, go to a place where you're not going to be interrupted. And you're going to want to relax. If you're in tension, if you're, not, if you're tense, if you're stressed, it's just, if the effectiveness of the meditation is just about non-existent. So, and while you relax, you drop the shoulders, you alleviate the stress, any of the anxieties, and to help you with that, you move into the now. And when you move into the now, not in the future or the past. You are only in the now. And when you move into the now, you, you basically shut off all of the mind chatter in the future and the past. All the worry, the, you know, wondering, the projecting, uh, you know, figuring, all of that stuff. It goes into you creating your future from the past and living in the future or the past. So it's pretty much incessant. So in the now. And while you're in the now, you're going to want to breathe. You want to breathe in, breath in through the nose and breath out through the mouth. And as you breath in through the nose, you're going to want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then breath out through the mouth. Now, while I'm talking, you're going to want to do this at least six times. For those of you who are new, the reason that we hold our breath for three seconds is that it focuses us on the now. The breath is always the now. It can't be the future or the past. It's always the now. So when you focus on your breathing, a lot of things happen. And it keeps you in the now, which also keeps all of the chatter at a bare minimum, if, if there at all. So you become more placid, peaceful, and serene than when you're not relaxed and when you're stressing. So it eases the body. So as it eases the body and your body relaxes, it alleviates all of the uh, all of the avenues that you've attracted throughout this day, last, the, the last several hours. And it eliminates that. So breathing and concentrating on your breathing keeps you in the now. So Remember that you are in your heart mind and remember that you have merged with your God. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. As you breathe in through your nose, breath in. Divine positive energy is all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. It comes from the collective consciousness of the universe. It comes from Mother, Father, God, Prime Source, Creator, God, Sword, the universe. And it's always communicating with your God. And when you're conscious, you you can literally, it's like picking up a phone and receiving the information and not throwing it aside and, you know, causing it to, you know, this, the, where the mind comes in again and starts trying to push it aside. And the energies are, it's, you're in a positive state. The God is in a positive state 24-7. Why isn't the body? Because there's separation. And so the understanding is, is that be conscious, be aware, and be in positivity and optimism and goodness. And not, do not be in the pessimism and, and cynicism and negativity. Because what happens, as we all know, what's the difference between the two as far as us 
experiencing this life. Huge. It's huge. And, 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 if, and I'm sure that a lot of you have met people who have lived um, in, the, in that field, in, in that generating of negativity and cynicism, and, and, you know, where they just about every outlook and aspect has always got to have a negative tone or a negative connotation. And you see, what Pete, a lot of humans don't understand is that by doing this, they're feeding the very thing that they're upset with. See? That's, that's, what, that's what happens. That's why the things that happen on this planet continue to process. They continue to happen because we feed them. The more stressed we get, the more anxiety-filled we get, the more anxious we get, the more unsure, the more uh, lack of confidence, the more we are susceptible to the lower vibrational frequencies of the negative aspects, the negative outlook, the negative perceptions. And we feed the very thing that is causing us to be upset. The very thing that causes us to be upset. It's just, it's astronomical. So, and this is the message, and it's, you know, I'm always grateful as I receive the messages because they're so profound and so direct to follow, to understand, and to em, em, engage with ourselves. Now, as you breathe out, you're breathing out all the doubt, you know, all of the things that would cause you to say, well, you know, this is uh, it's just the way it is. And you can't just poof it away. And things happen. And, you know, all these rationales that come in that justify being negative. That's it. Justifies us being negative, uh, being, you know, cynical, uh, pessimistic. And we create more of the same by, by literally being seduced into it. So, and then there's that feeling in the heart mind where you feel the pull. You feel the urge to want to be in the negative and, and be in the grumpiness and, and, and those, that, that place, okay? Uh, it could be anything that sets it off. And you, you then sit back, you relax, lead into yourself, and you expel it. You have no time for it. You say, I have no time for you. I have no time to be negative and, and to feed the very thing that I don't care to be engaged with. I am in positivity. You know, I love all of, the, all of this. You know, you love all the negativity, all the cynicism and pessimism, and it vaporizes. It just disappears. It is not there. And, and it won't, and it won't be there. So, you know, as you begin to embrace it, doesn't it make sense that you, you practice something that uplifts you? Why would you practice something that takes you down? Why would you ever do that? And we do that. So as we lift ourselves up, we elevate ourselves. This is all about ascension. It's all about enlightenment. It's all about lifting ourselves up. And the only way we can do that is each and every one of us. Someone can't come along and, and lift you up permanently. It's, it, it doesn't happen. Because deep within you is where everything is. So it's you who implement this. You're the master in command. This is what happens. So understand we are in the heart-mind. We are up in the body. Up, up towards the head floating. We're in stillness. We're in the now. We, we, we are receiving messages from source. And we are with our gods. We are merged with our gods. So we form our circle of light around this planet Earth. Arm in arm, hand in hand. It's a halo. It is, it is a bright, vibrant, deep, uh, white golden light that uh, you, you, you just don't see uh, on this planet. And we emanate that as we are gods so this energy is bright and it embraces the planet it, it literally encases planet earth in a perfect sphere uh, its atmosphere uh, its grounds its oceans everything inside now and what it does is it protects it and it continues now we can choose to feed that because we're part of it 
or we can choose to negate it. You see what I mean? The negativity negates from the field of positivity, uplifting, and love. It negates. So what you want to do is you want to stay in the positive light. You want to stay in a positive energy. No matter how much it, no matter how much those little frequencies try to pull you into the negativity, because we're we're all we all get that grip that starts trying to pull us into the negativity. We too are encased in this perfect sphere, and we're protected. The earth's protected. If the earth wasn't protected, it would not be here. And we expand. We, we, we gain the knowledge. We, we literally experience constantly. We're constantly experiencing. So the atmosphere is filled with a glitter. It's reflective. It's like a gossamer. So you can see through it, but you can see the glitter. Shine, the sparkle. And arm in arm, hand in hand, we begin to float up above the planet. And as we float up above the planet, we can see all the different energies. The, 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 the colors are unlike anything we see here on the planet. The emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the, the purple transmuting flame, the violet blue purple light of Archangel Michael, the white fire, a white that, you, that doesn't exist here on this planet. Um, the golden white pink light of Prime Source Creator God, Mother, Father, God, Source of Deep Eternal Love. The violet ray. We see these colors as we're moving up above the planet. And as we elevate and move up above the planet, we're actually out of the body, see? Our gods are out of the body. We're still connecting to sustain the body, but we're out of the body. And as we move up, we immediately call upon all of the light energy beings who are everywhere in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever, in all dimensions and densities and all existences, and they are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in generosity and kindness and peace. They're in bliss, humbleness, in tranquility. And they come in the Googaplexes, arm in arm, hand in hand, and they interconnect with us. They are of the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and they are, and we are, of the highest, of the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. And we are all love. It is our choice. See? Because we are love. We are, the God is the love. You can't escape it. And our God light energy is everywhere. Throughout the solar system, galaxy, it's expanded everywhere. If they come, when they come in the Googaplexes that fill this universe with and beyond, we call upon all of the archangels, cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels, all of the civilization who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love. They are in joy and peace. They are in kindness and benevolence. They are in generosity. Uh, they are in humbleness. And they are, as they've been assisting us for eons, this civilization, us, and are in supporting us and protecting us and loving us and caring for us and carrying on many activities for us. And guess what? They come arm in arm, hand in hand, without question. And they are of the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are of the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We're all one. We're all love. And our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon the ascended masters. These are those who have ascended out of the body and who left the matrix and who have returned to the matrix and, and, and risking to be caught in it again to assist us, to communicate with us, to help us. This is what all the gods do. They assist each other and help each other. They create. Yeah, Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia. 
Saint Germain, Samantha Jesus. El Morian, Abundantia. Many, many, many more. And they're in total peace, in total love, in total generosity and kindness. And they come in the trillions. And yes, there are masters all throughout the universes in many different civilizations, not just here. There's numbers that can't even be counted and names that aren't even recognized because they aren't our civilization. They are connected to our civilization in this planet. And they massively come in arm in arm, hand in hand, on, in this meditation, in this now. They are of the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest and the deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are all one, and we are all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon all the inhabitants of inner earth, hollow earth, Agartha, and beneath earth. All of these civilizations who are only of the highest, deepest eternal love, from the highest, deepest eternal love, who are in total benevolence and peace and tranquility and kindness and generosity and humbleness. come in the billions, massive numbers, arm in arm, hand in hand, in this meditation, in this now, they are with us. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. We are all one. We are all love. And our god light energy is everywhere. We call upon all of the galactics and off-worlders, all of these civilizations who are only of the highest, deepest eternal love and from the highest, deepest eternal love. They've been assisting us in our evolution, our ascension, our enlightenment, freeing ourselves from our self-imposed bondage and slavery. They are of the highest only of deepest eternal love. And that's, they cannot come into this now, into this meditation. Unless they are. That's the only frequency that can enter this meditation. And they are with us arm in arm, hand in hand. And they are the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are the highest and deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one, we are all love, and our God light energy is everywhere. We call upon our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. They are of the highest and deepest eternal love and and from the deepest eternal love, the highest, and their frequencies are of the highest. They are in joy, in peace. They are in benevolence, tranquility, generosity, bliss, humbleness, compassion, non-judging. And come, arm in arm, hand in hand, in the billions, and they join us in this meditation, in this now. They are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude, and we are of the highest, of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitude. We are all in deep gratitude. It is imperative to sustain and maintain in the deepest way possible through our heart minds and our physical existence to stay in the deepest of gratitude always in everything. And our God light energy 
expands and we are all one and we are all love and we are everywhere we call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on and in this planet in this now in this meditation they are of the highest the deepest eternal love from the highest deepest eternal love they are in joy they are in happiness they are in bliss they are in tranquility they are happy to be a part of such a powerful gathering of gods just to name a few the fairies the sprites the elves the gnomes the dwarves the trees the elementals earth air water fire the mermaids the dolphins the whale Pegasus, the unicorn, the centaur, the minotaur, and many, many, many more. And they come in the trillions in colors, shapes, sizes, and forms that we have never seen before. And they join us arm in arm, hand in hand. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes, and we are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And we are all one. We are all love, and our God light energy is everywhere, and it keeps growing, and it keeps expanding, and flooding, and saturating the sacredness of space. Things are changing. They're changing a lot quicker than humanity can comprehend. They aren't changing for the low frequencies. They are changing into higher and higher higher frequencies of peace of joy of happiness of abundance of prosperity generosity kindness humbleness non-judging positive optimistic we look up and we see our meditative sphere it holds all of our meditations. We've created it with our intent, through our heart minds, through our gods. It sets center circle. It can be seen, heard, and felt, and all that there is and ever has been and ever will be ever. We feel it as it floods us and saturates us, uplifts us. It's pouring deep positivity, deep optimism highest joy and love and prosperity and abundance and well-being it doesn't judge it doesn't ridicule it doesn't criticize it expands it embraces it is pure the purest of the highest deepest eternal love it exudes the highest of gratitudes it is all positive there is no negative those are the low frequencies. This is the highest high of God-like energy. It is through our intent that we have put it there. You can, can you feel the positivity and the joy flow over you and in you? We look down on the planet. We see all of our brothers and sisters. They're all parts of us. We see all life, which is part of us. On and in, above and below all positivity we flood them with it with the joy with the confidence with the non-judging with the compassion this is all positive this is not negative it is not low frequency we don't have time for low frequency the civilization has spent enough time in the in the low frequency it is time to begin our ascension and enlightenment of a higher existence a blissful joyous, happy, abundant, prosperous, where we eventually move into loving all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever. And you can feel the waves 
as they flood and penetrate and saturate all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever, including this planet Earth, all the light, everything, including herself, Gaia, and her spirit, her God, all of us. Feel it because we're part of it and immerse ourselves in it because it is that of which we are made, which is source, which is deep, eternal love. I'll join you in the meditation on it and close this out.
causes us to become low frequency. And then it expands out. And then we get caught up and we keep feeding it. Okay? Remember that every single thing that each and every one of us, whether it be a negative intention or a positive, we create it. We create our lives. How about that? We create our lives. So, we do have a multitude of choices. We can stay in, neg in the negativity and low end frequencies, feed them, being miserable and irritated and angry, or we can move ourselves up higher and higher and higher frequencies. And the more that you feel enlightened, the more that you are in love, the more that you are happy and joyous, everything changes. So you maintain that. And, that, and after a period of time, you won't even visit negativity. You won't. And if it does come in, it'll be fleeting. It'll be just poof. So just immerse yourself in it. The more you do it, the more it becomes automatic. The more you operate from the heart mind, the more the mind and the ego take a back seat. So you can move, flow through the day, the rest of the evening and night, into the next morning. See how you are. Feel who you are. We'll be back here. Wednesday. And we will also have a time for change call Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern on this line.